Hey guys, today I will review Miracle Morning by an amazing guy called Hell Elrod. This guy had been declared dead for 6 minutes and spent 6 days in coma afterwards and was told he would never walk again. And today he's a best selling author, a top keynote speaker and he also runs ultra marathons. You will learn about all Miracle Morning steps, why these are critically important for success and also how to do all these steps in just 6 minutes. And I love to take on the mindset that these are just 6 minutes and everyone can spare 6 minutes in the morning. Your morning ritual is very important because studies show that we humans tend to go about our day how we've started it. If you choose something unhealthy in the morning, you are more likely to eat something unhealthy for lunch and dinner. And if you choose to take the elevator in the morning, it is less likely for you to take the stairs that day. So if you do these 6 steps in the morning, it will be much more likely for you to have an overall much more successful day. So let's start, he calls these 6 steps lifesavers and savers is an acronym, meaning each letter stands for one ritual. S is for silence, most people start the day stressed, alarm clock, radio, news, coffee, shower and then they run to their workplace. So calm down and make sure to start your day with some silence so that you feel at ease and let your body know that everything is fine. This silence can be a resource throughout your whole day. If you do this in the morning, it will tell your body and your unconscious mind that today is an easy, stress-free day, that you're not in a rush and that you can relax. A stands for affirmation. If you don't know what affirmations are, just think of positive self-talk. Successful athletes, entrepreneurs and actors use affirmations all the time. Say to yourself that you will succeed, that you feel good, achieve your goals and that you like yourself. This can be especially powerful if you have a specific goal or challenge that day and adjust some of the affirmations accordingly. V stands for visualize. This goes hand in hand with affirmations but don't confuse them with each other. Affirmations are more about your long term goal or a specific goal. Visualizations are more about the steps to get there. Visualization means to imagine and really think through each step necessary in order to become successful. Ask things like, what are the necessary steps to become successful and then visualize them going well. E stands for exercise and you already know that this is super important. Exercising also makes sure that you feel good and getting your heart rate up every day is critically important for your health. And do you remember the example with the elevator in the beginning? Exercising in the morning makes it much more likely that you will unconsciously choose healthier options like taking the stairs throughout the day. The next one is R and R stands for reading. Read something that inspires you. Read about a topic that's on your mind right now. An inspirational thought can help you to see things in a different light and it helps to get your brain unstuck so that it becomes easier to generate new ideas more easily. It is often just that one inspirational thing you've read in the morning that is going to fuel your whole day and will energize you. And the letter S stands for scribing. This is also called journaling quite often. This is very easy, just sit down and let your thoughts out. Many successful people recommend journaling daily. Simply write down your goals and ideas, but you can also use this as a self-monitoring tool. This is a place to write down what you did wrong and how you can do it better the next time. And make sure to write down great things you figured out and learned and also your business ideas and so on. He also talks about something that he calls the 6 minute miracle. So you can do all this in just 6 minutes. Which means there is really no excuse that you are too busy. Just don't hit that snooze button and you will have plenty of time. The first minute after you wake up just sit on the edge of your bed and meditate. Yes, meditate for only one minute and try to clear your head of all thoughts by shifting all your attention to your breathing. But there also will be an in-depth meditation guide in the future if you are interested. When it comes to affirmations, pull out and read a page of affirmations you've written down. Or just say out loud that you like yourself and that you will achieve your goals. And immediately after that, close your eyes and visualize every step necessary in order to achieve your goal and how everything goes well for another minute. Minute 4 is scribing. Just pull out your journal and write down things you're grateful for and proud of. Just list 10 things. You can easily do this in under a minute. The next one is reading. So why reading for just one minute? It is not that much about reading, but about getting inspired. For example, skip through the marks of an inspirational book you've read. Or just read a page or two for one minute. Or google and read some inspirational quotes from great thinkers and successful people. 
And when it comes to exercising, just move to get your heart rate up for one minute. As a bonus tip, make sure to use as many muscle groups as possible, because that will get your heart rate up in no time. For example, do one minute of jumping jacks, skip ropes, burpees, but running up and down the stairwell will also work perfectly. There will definitely be more videos on sleeping, my own morning rituals and meditation in the future. Because I am fascinated by this topic and the benefits of it for a couple of years now. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe because that's the best way to not miss anything. Thanks a lot for watching guys, subscribe for more and see you on Minion No More.